Mario Greco with Prudential Rubloff. Uh, my opinion as to the top three things you can do to grow your business are as follows. Uh, one, treat all of your clients as if they're your only or your last client. Uh, nothing helps you more to grow your business than a happy client telling all of their friends. And by the same token, nothing can hurt you more than an unhappy client telling everyone, including the people in line at the grocery store, about how bad their realtor was. So be very careful about that and treat your clients um, as if they're the only one. Secondly, uh, do not be afraid to spend and invest in your business. And when I say spend, I mean money. Um, and when I say invest, I mean time and effort um, in doing things that may not get you money today or a client today, but can lay the groundwork for um, you to get more clients. Uh, never worry about spending, some, spending money for something that either you know is going to help because other people, other produ top producers have done it, um, or you've read about it and you're confident about it, obviously it has to be within your budget, but spending money is something you need to do to make money, and you've heard that before. And investing in your business, um, do not be afraid, and actually you should spend as much time as you can um, planning what you need to do for the next month, which client you need to follow up with, and getting ideas on how to treat those clients that we just talked about as your only. Uh, as your only or your, uh, your last client. Um, a lot of this spending and investing is the foundation upon which your business will grow. You may not get anything this year, but two years later, or a year later, or a month later, you're going to see some uh, results. And related, uh, finally, related to those two points is to always plan ahead. Uh, one thing that you should always be doing is not worried about what you're going to do this afternoon, but worried about what you're going to do next week and how it is next week is going to help you next month and so on. So uh, if you are growing your business and it looks like you're getting a little bit too busy, you know, hiring an assistant today versus hiring one when you're too busy um, can only help. And if you hire an assistant after you're too busy, your clients may not uh, like that and all, all the things we've talked about can kind of fall in like a domino. So all of the things we've talked about and there's plenty of others, but these are the top three that at least have helped me um, get to work.